All right, so I'm seeing a couple people having problems using this new app from Samsung Game Tuner. Uh, understandably so. The interface, if you're not paying attention, it won't make sense. So if you look closely, down here it's very simple. They got it sectioned off high, medium, low, extreme low. And this tab right here is custom where you can go in and actually configure your games individually. Now these are all different modes. Every mode is a different, you know, mode. So high, medium, low, extreme, low, and custom. Now, if you wanted to play in extreme low, just for an example, you can't just hit extreme low, you know, back out and then go and play your game. It's going to be in high quality. Um, and I'll explain why it'll be in high quality. And if you want to see it real quick, you can tell quickly by just looking, um, you know, this is going to be the high quality game. Now, yeah, I don't have to go all in depth with it. We're just going to back out. Uh... Yes. So the reason why it's not going to be an extreme low quality game is because this little blue ball right there is indicating which setting it's on. Right here, this is showing that it's in custom. So all of the settings that I've put in here are going to be applied. If I were to back out, choose extreme low, to select this, you can't tap here again. You'd actually have to tap the screen and it's going to tell you, you have an application running. Well, game running, if you apply the changes now, all data will be lost and the game will be closed. So now that ball that was over here is over here, just so you can see it if you're looking at the blip on the pin. Uh, so now all of my games should be running in extremely low quality, just to show you. And you can see like the lower quality of that. None of that stuff is crisp. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty simple, but it's not straight to the point. You just have to pay attention. If you pay attention, you'll notice. And look at that. That's low quality. All day, that's low quality. Um, yeah. Come on now. You see it working. We're going to do that same thing again just for the non-believers, the people who doubt things. I don't know why. Uh, let's see. Back to Game Tuner. We're going to put it back on my custom settings, and we're going to tap here and apply. And as you can see, like it, it will run, you know, high quality now. But just so you see my configuration settings, I have that specific game set at 100% and 60 frames a second. So now, uh, once again, being that the blue ball is on the custom side, those settings will apply. I tap Need for Speed. You see everything looks clearer already. And once it loads, look how clear the graphics are. Um, yeah, so that's for the people who are having issues using Game Tuner. That's pretty much how it works. Uh, it's not hard. And since I didn't show this specific side, well, let's let this load up so you can see. Graphics look way better. But yeah, since I didn't show this specific side of it, and this is a how-to video, once I'm in Configure, and if I wanted to change a specific game like this one, I can go in. I can choose whatever I want the frame, I mean, the resolution to be. Uh and I can change the frame rate. I just keep them all on 100. We're taking full advantage of this 2K screen. Uh, you can even launch the game from here, or you can go back to default settings. Uh, yeah, that's what these options are. You got the back arrow up here. I just use the back button on my device. We're gonna discard those settings. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you use this app. There's nothing more to it, it's simple. So if you wanna change the settings, you first have to tap the tab that you want it to be on the mode, then you tap the screen, and then you apply the settings. Then you'll see the blue ball. The blue ball is telling you which mode that you're on. I want mine on custom. There we go. Blue ball's there. Uh, <laughs> blue ball. <laughs> Yo, man, that's game tuning, man. Uh, yeah.